I'm going to show you how to combine multiple data sets using a single tool in Excel. And the good thing is that it won't require any VBA. So let's get into it. All right, here I got two simple data sets that ChatGPT gave me. And it's it just gives me some simple data on the names, sales, locations. And we're going to be using the Power Query editor in Excel to combine these two data sets into one data set. So make sure to open up a new Excel workbook. And after you do that, go to the data ribbon and click on get data in the left hand corner and then click on this button that says launch power query editor. If you click on that, then that's going to open a new window. It looks blank right now, but we're going to be filling it up with the two data sets. So here's how to do it from the power query editor. I'm going to right click this area in the left hand side and then I'm going to click new query and then click on file and then click on Excel workbook. And so here you can choose your own file from your computer. And so for me, it's going to be this file over here and it's going to take a while to connect. But once it does that, it's going to give you this navigator window. And so if you click on sheet one, it's going to give you a preview of what that data looks like. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on OK. And you can see now that the sheet or the data set is now into inside the Power Query editor. But we have to do the exact same thing for the second data set now. So right click, click new query, file, and then Excel workbook. And then this time I'm choosing the second data set. And it's going to take me to the navigator window again. I'm going to click on sheet one, which is the preview. And it looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on OK. OK, now that I got both data sets inside the Power Query editor, I'm going to go back into the main Excel interface by clicking on close and load. We're almost done here. All we got to do now is click a few more buttons and then we'll get our combined data set. In the data ribbon, click on get data and then click on combine queries and then append. It's going to show you a new window, but since I only have two data sets in this video, I'm going to stay in this option. But if you had three or more data sets, then make sure to click on this option. Anyways, for the first table, I'm going to say this sheet and then for the second table i'm gonna say this one and if i click on ok then it's automatically gonna combine the data sets and take me to the power query editor and you can see that it created another table with the two other data sets combined into one so if you click on close and load then it's going to take it back into the main excel interface and from here you can do whatever you want with your new combined data set. All right, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you want to learn more about the Power Query Editor, then make sure to check out this video over here. It's gonna provide you with a walkthrough on the different features in Power Query, and it's gonna make your data cleaning a lot more efficient. So I hope to see you there, and thanks for watching.